三センチ。九十七点六キロ。イリー。プロハースカー。I'm really, I'm really looking at Yuri to come out really strong in the beginning and try to overwhelm his opponent. I think I've seen、uh, Mark and Fuck in a couple of fights where he gets overwhelmed quite easily if a guy comes on very, very strong. And、I'm, I think Yuri's going to come very, very aggressively. As fast as he can, and I, it, it, this fight might end really, really quickly. Has potential. I would not be surprised at all. This fight ends very, very quickly. This is going to be a situation. I mean, the stoicism. Watching Yuri fight is something. Is something to behold. Tanya's putting the pressure, pushing him back. I was really just expecting an explosion out of the corner from Yuri at the belt. Nice leg kick, and feigning it up there with the left jab or left hand, and then coming underneath. Push, push Tanya's back a little bit if you notice that he's not. Oh, he's back in the center now. And Mark actually doing a really good job again, keeping center, keeping relaxed, keeping calm. Both men just kind of feeling each other out at this point. Inside leg kick. Yuri switching up his stance here, dropping his hands. Is that for a left kick? I was just gonna say, is that to, to, to throw that left kick? There you go. I don't see him as a wrestler going for that takedown. No. <laughs> oh, he was loading up that right hand there. And Mark's really got his weight shifted back, so it's going to be tough for him to do any kind of aggression motion. But he he does he seems to be kind of baiting Yuri in at this point, and Yuri seems more than game to come forward. Both men a little bit tentative to initiate. Yeah, they're, they're just showcasing a lot of different. Oh. His, I was going to say that right foot there off that kick off the beginning. He's been laboring for a while.、Mark、he's hurt big time there. He's, he's that right footer. I don't know if it's the ankle. I think he kicked. I think he kicked the knee. Or he may have rolled、kick. it on the on the rollback. Yeah, that is possible. I'm not sure if、uh, Tanyos has noticed that, but if he picks up the pace, this fight will end pretty quickly. Yeah, Tanyos. It's always a difficult position. You know, is, is he playing coy with him? Is he trying to bait? Is he trying to bait him in? Definitely something wrong with Prohaska's right foot there. He's checking nicely. Yeah, I mean, if Tanyos can, he's trying to push forward. Well, pretty much anything you can do because I mean, Yuri can only do so much. He's on one leg. He's not even able to move. Yeah, he's just not able to move. Clearly, something's bothering him. Wonder if it was a rolling of an ankle when he came back from the kick. Was it? Did he? This top of the foot hit the bone of the knee? I, I, I feel like that's what it was. I don't know if it's the corner of Tanyos that hasn't noticed it, if Mark hasn't noticed it, but you have to figure with a fighter who's only on one leg, you may want to pick up the pace. Yeah, Tanyos is definitely coming out of you know he he seems to be baiting and, and and waiting back. His weight is shifted back on his right leg. Oh, here here he's coming forward. Chelsea couldn't even throw that knee with full power because he、right. wasn't able、oh, to、no. base on that right foot. Getting eye rake. I guess Yuri kind of caught him in the eye. Yeah, this fight's been a little bit slow, a little bit slow pace. Both men are filling each other out. I think Yuri getting getting injured. Mark really not knowing how to capitalize, perhaps, on the injury. But, I mean, my natural assumption is if you have an opponent in front of you who is visibly damaged, who is unable—not visibly damaged, excuse me—visibly in pain,、uh, every time he does anything with his right foot, pick up the pace, take some chances. One would think. One would think. I don't even know. I mean, <laughs> Mark's been so stoic since he's come in. I don't even. He didn't even seem to notice. 
there's also the benefit of the doubt, Heath. Perhaps, A, he hasn't noticed any of that, but you figure his corner may have noticed it. Or, right. I mean, are they giving him the advice not to, to, you know, bite that type of situation? Like, just continue what you're doing. Don't deviate from the game plan. Uh, obviously, being eye-poked right now. Right. And we haven't really seen... Yuri doing anything. I mean, he seems to be bouncing around. It seems to be recovering quite well. From what he was doing on the opposite side there with the doctor in right now to take a look at the eye. What a turn of event this would be if the doctor was to stop this fight. I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, I've been raked in the eye several times. It's awful. Oh. Ooh, maybe that was there you go, right yeah. there. One would have to wonder, is this good or bad for Yuri right now? Well, if he kicked on the knee, it's only going to be bad because as, as it continues on, it's going to start swelling. It's going to start getting worse. Um, if it wasn't that, be, he seems to be on it fine. He's getting on the ball of his foot. He seems to be moving. He doesn't seem to be bothering like it was earlier. So He's got 90 I, seconds left in this first round. Hopefully we'll see what they do when it gets to the corner. Do they tr what do they try and ice if they even bother trying to ice it now? Yep. Yuri definitely is moving around. Um, not yeah, not, not, not yeah. quite as explosive as he normally is. No, not even close. But this is what we need to see is him putting pressure on Mark here. He's keeping the pressure on Mark, keeping him against the ropes. You see Mark's weight is continuously on the back. He's continuously baiting. Yep. He's continuously fighting from a defensive stance. Kind of waiting for Yuri to come in and initiate. 45 seconds left to go in this opening round here. Yuri changing stances, southpaw. Is he trying to sit up that left high kick, perhaps? I don't know. I don't wonder if he can do that because he can't put the pressure on that right leg. Will even hurt even more. His hands down. He's trying to bait Mark to come out. Yeah, Mark's, Mark's not coming out at all. No, no, Mark's not going to come forward at all. I mean, you're really, the, the the initiation of this fight is up to Yuri at this point. Here you go, Yuri coming up with a good combination. Trying to keep the pressure on Mark here. I mean, his the irony of it all is, is what he told us is the most important fighting is movement. And, you know, obviously he's laboring right now. I mean, the it, very thing he loves, he's not able to do. But he's doing a good job when you think about it. They're looking at it right now. His corner's looking right now. He's telling his corner something. Yeah, there's something I, I, I'd like to see in the replay, perhaps. Here he comes in. I just can't see right what there. it was. Maybe it was the knee. Was it the knee? I just can't see what it was. No, There's that's the his left, left leg. One. It's like he slipped. I don't. You know, I've torn my ACL in a fight before. Um, just in a weird situation. I don't. I mean, I have no idea. Do you think it's a knee injury then? It could be. I don't know. His foot seemed to slip there. I don't know what it is. It didn't seem at all like he had rolled on his ankle. I wonder if it was earlier than that, because that was maybe a reaction afterwards. Maybe a ligament snap. Could be a uh, ligament his calf. I believe it was earlier than that. I believe they're icing off. Oh, we can just see the other side there. They have his left leg. His right knee. They're icing his right they're knee. Icing the right knee. So we could see. Could be an ACL. Could be. Oh, that's uh, often called the career killer in sports. Yeah, it, it, it's no fun. I've had to deal with it. But Here in Japan, is, actually. Yes, this is Yuri Prohaska we're talking about. This guy is absolute game. Yeah, so, I mean, if, if I'm Mark's corner, I'm telling him push forward and open up a little bit. I don't, I don't know. Now, we said his weight has shifted. I don't know. It's back, back on his right leg. Now. I'm talking about Mark Tannius. To me, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You have a fighter who is not at 100% right now. Clearly, there's something wrong with his right leg, be it his knee and or his ankle. I, I'm, I'm surprised that he's not picking up the pace and going for some sort of finish or even trying to punish the right. other leg. Some punish the left leg, just like that. Now, that's exactly what we're talking about. Punish the other leg now. So now he's got no he's got no legs at all to stand on. Well, and I'd have to say, the last round went clearly to Yuri. So you have a, an injured fighter who eked out a small victory, I think, in the first round. 
you've got to come on in the second round. If, if nothing else, there, nice. It's close, I mean, throwing knees. Oh, oh my goodness. Gosh. Oh, wow. And well, here we go. We're going to the ground. Mark on top. Let's see if he can do anything with it. No, wasn't able to control Yuri at all. Good job by Grahaska getting out of there. But Tanyos, if he continues to pick up the pace, if he tries to punish, there you go. Just throw more exchanges. What are we doing? Herzog's, Herzog's saying no. Didn't see it. Keep going. A nice punch line there by Marcel. Absolutely. Yuri's got to turn up the pace a little bit. You know, Mark just is not an aggressive fighter at all. He's at just all. sitting back and waiting. Yuri, I think, unfortunately, I think combined with the injury. I, I'm surprised because, as you can see, he, Yuri, all his weight is on that left leg whenever he's in exchange right. like that. It's just very frustrating sitting here watching this thing. You just know. Well, that's the first time we've seen Mark come forward. See, he's unable to stand on it. He's clear. That has to be seen by the corner, at least. I mean, it has to be seen by the fighter, right? Yeah. Very, very frustrating. How much heart does Yuri Prohaska have to be able to continue to fight under that much pain? Which I'm sure will be a lot worse as time goes on. Oh, absolutely. And it's getting worse as it goes on. It's the same time in the end. Nice right hook off the break there. Boy, oh. it's a strip. It just misses coming through there. It was a really slick little ankle trip right there. Those trips, those ankle trips were all about timing and the way he did it in that exchange there without really clinching, it's fantastic. Now you gotta wonder if it is a knee injury, how does it feel right now having to bend it like this? Well, he's fighting, I mean, fighting through it. All oh, the adrenaline through his body right now is probably just saying, don't worry, we can do this. Well, he's doing it. We just haven't really seen much of anything from Mark. Uh, that would hurt right there, getting up from this position. Oh, he's able to pass. Pass side control. Let's see if he can work for a submission here. Attempted crucifix right there, like we saw in the uh, Alibari fight. Yep. 90 seconds to go. On our unofficial scorecards, we do have Yuri Prohaska ahead of Mark Tarnios. Right. Now, this is something we haven't seen a lot. From oh, Yuri. triangle choke there, attempts. Got to be careful there when you punch it through. And Mark, you know, Yuri's got him in the corner. I'd like to see really, Yuri really open up right here. One minute to go here. One minute to go in the second round. Good combination thrown there by Yuri Prohaska. Will he be able to advance? Can he survive with that leg injury? and move on in this overweight Grand Prix, or can Mark Tanyos find something within himself to finish him off? And really, Mark just kind of throwing some wild shots right now. Again, he had Yuri going back and stopped, stopped his advance. I, I, I just don't know. Somebody needs a lot of fire under him. Again, you see his weight shifted all the way back on his right leg. He's just not, there's no aggression coming forward at all. Yeah, as you can see there, Yuri having a difficult time throwing that left or that left kick. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I definitely have this round to Yuri. I mean, this, year, this, clown, this round is clearly for Yuri. Ten seconds to go. Ten seconds to go here. According to our unofficial scorecards, Yuri Prohaska is about to advance in the open weight Grand Prix despite suffering an, an injury very, very early in the first round. Mark's got his hand up. I don't know As why. is Yuri, I don't, uh, I, I, again, we are not the judges here. That's true. Um, it could be, remember, damage, you could consider, obviously, leg as damage. Okay, here but, it's, oh, flying knee from Yuri. Man, I just, such a frustrating fight for me to watch. Um, I know it's frustrating. I feel bad for Yuri. I know what he's capable of. There is from the eyes done. of Jason Herzog. Yeah, here we see Tanyos running away. I, 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 I don't know. I, it's just very frustrating. I don't know what's happening. Would you be completely surprised if this thing goes to a third yes, round? Yes, I would be completely surprised. I think it's Guess very not. clearly two rounds. 
When the lights come out like this and they bring him, well, Yuri wants to go to a third <laughs> round. I want a third round. Yeah. I, it's very clearly. Yeah. Yeah. For, for, for Haska. Yeah. There you have it. Yuri Prohaska earns a unanimous judge's decision and advances in the Open Weight Grand Prix. He joins the likes of Valentin Moldovsky, Amir Akbari, and Simon Bayor. And a certain guy that we kept seeing on the screen popping up, Vanderlei Silva. But the real question is, what is his injury, and is he going to be able to come back in December? Well, if you if we listen um, to the prediction that you made, and it's an ACL, no, no, I don't, I'm not, not predicting that. Back. I'm not, not predicting. predicting. What are they doing? Uh, that was awkward. He just threw a kick at him. That was weird. Yeah. I didn't see it. I wasn't looking. And here's the year he's trying to load up. Boom, the nice knee. Not predicting. Excuse me. Uh, potentially saying it could be an ACL. If it's an ACL, he's he's not right. coming back. Oh, he can't. Maybe six months to a year. At minimum. Yeah. I listen. I'm going to be honest with you. The fact that he was able to survive that long with that type of injury. I mean.